come out with project ex uh, concept, expect to see more in the next couple of months, just as Danielle showed. Or also, while Danielle was doing this, you got a glimpse into Firefly Image 4 model. The results here are truly astonishing. Uh, incredible detail, uh, photorealistic uh, quality, richer moods and aesthetic, and a ridiculous amount of adherence to prompt coherence and, and comprehension. So stay tuned for that. That's also going to be coming out uh, coming out soon. So if you take a step back, we've shared a lot with you today. So there you have it. Adobe's Firefly video model is officially out, and it's the first of its kind designed specifically for commercial use safely too. Big kudos to Adobe for this, because let's face it, many companies in the video model space don't always play it straight. Transparency about where footage comes from. Not so much. In this episode, we're diving deep into Adobe Firefly, the video model that's making waves in the industry. At the Adobe Max event, they rolled out some game-changing features in their generative AI lineup, taking their product to the next level. But let's start by breaking down the Firefly video model itself. I've got to say, Adobe has really delivered one of the best video models out there right now. And that's a bold statement considering the fierce competition in the AI video space. You might have heard of Sora, lots of people have been following that one, but Adobe's entry is a serious contender. Now, let's take a look at the quality of some of these clips. What strikes me immediately is the stunning clarity these visuals are nothing short of breathtaking. Take for instance this first clip a cinematic close-up of an elderly man, standing in the middle of a dimly lit street at night. The lighting is moody, dramatic. The color grading leans into deep blues with shadows and orange highlights giving it this beautiful atmospheric tension. His skin? Incredibly detailed. You can see every pore, every subtle expression. The movement is gentle and soft, with the camera perfectly still. It feels vintage, almost nostalgic, thanks to the film grain and anamorphic lens effects. What's remarkable here is Adobe's strong adherence to the prompts. This has always been a tough challenge for video models getting them to really follow through on detailed instructions, but Adobe seems to have cracked that code. A model that can deliver high-quality visuals, stay consistent, and nail the prompts. That's a game-changer. This clip is a prime example of that. Adobe also treated us to this breathtaking example of beautifully lit cenote in Mexico. The water is crystal clear, shimmering in the golden rays of the late afternoon sun. The whole scene radiates warmth and it feels like you're watching a high-quality cinematic masterpiece straight out of a film. Whenever I analyze these clips, I like to zoom in on certain details to really gauge the strength of the model, what it excels at, and where it might fall short. But with Adobe's Firefly model, I'm honestly having a hard time finding any weak spots. Take the water reflections on the left, for example. They're so precise, so natural. And as the character moves through the frame, everything stays incredibly coherent. The consistency here is wild, it feels so real that, from a distance, you'd never guess this was generated by AI. Adobe has really pulled off something impressive. Not only did they manage to responsibly source the footage for training the model, but they've also created a process that seems incredibly efficient. Before we dive deeper into the world of Adobe's generative AI, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to AI Gridlock, and share this with your friends so you never miss a beat in the ever-evolving world of AI. One thing we know for sure about these video models is that they're incredibly computationally expensive to run. Yet, Adobe is gearing up to release Firefly very soon, which means they've managed to pull this off in a highly efficient way. Clearly, they've got some brilliant minds at work over there. If you're curious about character consistency, just take a look at this next clip. And this is crucial because unless you're familiar with how AI video models function, you might not realize how tricky it is to maintain consistency as the clip progresses. The further you get from the starting point, especially when the terrain changes, many models begin to struggle with keeping everything coherent. But finding a video model that can consistently deliver images that feel like they're part of the same seamless scene, that's when you know you've got something special. And that's exactly what we see here, a sweeping cinematic shot of a vast red Martian landscape. Honestly, I wasn't expecting this level of consistency from the model, especially considering how challenging this type of shot is to pull off. Yet, Adobe nailed it. What really sets Adobe's Firefly apart is how deeply it's integrated into their entire creative ecosystem. This means we're about to see an explosion of creative possibilities for creators as they leverage this model in their projects. The potential here is massive. And of course, for the general public, especially those who haven't been following the smaller niche video models that hardcore AI enthusiasts are into this is going to be a real eye-opener. 
It'll be fascinating to see how the broader creative community responds and starts using these tools in their own projects. Now let's talk about some of the fantasy elements Adobe has thrown into the mix. Honestly, I love this part. The movement in this clip is shockingly realistic. If you've ever watched a small reptile scurry around, you'll recognize the accuracy here at spot on. I was genuinely impressed watching it. Right now, there are viral videos of animals being merged with AI, and let's be real, a lot of them don't look great. The movements just feel off. But in this case, we're looking at a macro shot of a baby dragon, made of lava, skittering around inside a volcano, and it's incredibly well done. The detail, the fluidity of its movements, it's mesmerizing. Truly a fascinating piece of work. All right, enough about the videos, let's dive into some of the really cool things you can actually do with Adobe's Firefly to level up your projects. One of the standout features Adobe mentioned is how they've listened to the creative community. Users have been asking for ways to add visual depth to existing content, and with Firefly, you can now generate atmospheric elements like water, fire, and light leaks. Imagine being able to create short clips of these elements and then seamlessly overlay them on your footage in Premiere Pro. It's a game changer for boosting creativity without needing to scour the web for the perfect clip. Take light leaks, for example. You can generate a filmic light leak with an organic texture, realistic, on a black background. Then you can composite it over your scene, and the result? A final clip that looks absolutely stunning. This will save creators a ton of time because, let's face it, we've all spent way too long searching for that one small smoke or light leak clip that fits perfectly with the motion of a specific shot. With Firefly, you can generate it instantly, making the process much smoother and more efficient, but it doesn't stop there. Adobe is also focused on making this tool incredibly useful for animators and motion designers. By generating prompts like this one, a cute baby octopus with big, adorable eyes holding a teacup in each tentacle, rendered in 3D with soft lighting, you can quickly visualize ideas and save tons of time on iterations. The consistency in these renders is seriously impressive, especially for Adobe's first video model. Overall, this is going to be a massive time saver and creativity booster for anyone working with video. What's really impressive about this model is its versatility. It's not just limited to text generation, it handles video too. Take this stop motion clip, for instance. At first glance, I wouldn't have even guessed it was AI generated. It's that realistic. The model's ability to create various video styles is fascinating. Earlier, we saw it generate what I would call a drone shot gliding over the horizon, a completely different vibe from this 2D stop motion look. That's what makes this AI tool so powerful, it's flexible. It allows creatives to explore different visual approaches. Whether you're going for a smooth, sweeping landscape or a more playful stop motion effect, this model can handle it all. It opens up endless possibilities for creators who want to experiment with how they present their content. You can also see how well this model handles text. For example, in the play area, it forms the word summer from fluffy, iridescent clouds floating in a sky of swirling pastel hues. It's visually stunning, really impressive. It'll be exciting to see how people use this feature creatively. But one of the most groundbreaking aspects, in my opinion, is the image to video capability. This is where I think many users will spend their time because it allows you to take your existing images and transform them into dynamic footage. They announced this feature with an example starting with a simple driving image, and soon after we see a butterfly gracefully landing on one of the flowers. The transition from static to motion is seamless, and that's where the real power of this tool lies. It opens up entirely new ways to expand on your source material and bring it to life. I don't think most people fully grasp how significant this example really is. Imagine you're a filmmaker trying to capture a pivotal shot, say, a butterfly landing in a scene that symbolizes something crucial to your story. In real life, getting a butterfly to land exactly where you want, it could take hours if it even happens at all. But now, with this tool, you can simply set up your scene and input a prompt. It's a game changer that saves both time and effort. Another challenge filmmakers face is fixing or tweaking scenes after shooting. Take the example we see here initially, it's just a hand flicking a switch. But what if we wanted to adjust it? Say, add a gloved astronaut's hand, unplugging a yellow cable instead. With a simple prompt, the Adobe Firefly model can execute that effortlessly. This kind of flexibility is invaluable. As someone who's dabbled in filmmaking, I can tell you that shooting the perfect scene is one of the most time-consuming aspects of the process. Tools like these are going to revolutionize how creators work cutting down hours of filming into just minutes of inputting commands. Adobe has even integrated these features natively into Premiere Pro Beta, which is incredible. I highly recommend you guys check it out. 
Now, I'm going to play a quick clip from Adobe to show you exactly how this new era of video editing is evolving. Adobe, take it from here. Thanks for watching.